Good day, gamers. This is Drist, playing Shroud of the Avatar, spiritual successor to Ultima Online. I am playing my Mr. Tugel, Mistress Sir Tugel character, and we are picking up where we left off before, outside of the town of Eri. We spoke to the blacksmith, Kyle, and he told us that we need to go to the elf town of Vertaz and speak to a uh, elf there by the name of Kiakis, I want to say it is. So that is what we're about to do. But before I continue, this is a friendly reminder, don't forget to click that little subscribe button in the bottom right if you have not already subscribed. Greatly appreciate that. And don't forget to check out those affiliate links I have in the description. And uh, without further ado, let's get started. So uh, we are going to the town of Vertas. So let's open up our map here and we can show you where it's at. As soon as this thing loads... And one other thing to note while this is loading, I've just recently started playing around with the whole uh, um, green screen thingamajig so I can, you know, phase out the window, the door walls behind me. And uh, the one I did before this, eh, left something to be desired, the video before it. So I retweaked it a little bit. And I'm not 100% satisfied with it just yet. But I've come to the conclusion my problem is lighting. I don't have the proper lighting to really get it done properly. So I've gotten about as best as I can with the current equipment I have. And probably in a week or two, I can buy some actual better lighting for this uh, process. <coughs> Excuse me. And we'll be good to go. But in the meantime, I'm not thoroughly dissatisfied the way it is. Sometimes uh, you can kind of see the shadow of where the green screen's at vaguely sometimes but other than that um, all in all I'm you know for the time being it's okay so here we are we're at the town of Erie and uh, we need to go to the Vertaz which Vertaz is right up come on you load right up here that's where Vertas is. So, to get to there, we're going to enlarge our map a little bit. So we need to go there. Come on, you. <laughs> All right, we need to go there. We are there. So we're going to follow this path up here, cut across here, and all the way up, da 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 da, and around, and we're there. So, pretty simple. <coughs> And it looks like it's getting dark out, so let's get this show on the road. This is uh this new soda map is a great new feature they've added to this game. You can actually see where you're at in relation to stuff around you. Alright, we are on the way. Although when I first started playing this game, there was no soda map. Well there was the uh website soda map, which helped out tremendously but there was no in-game soda map so it was simply a matter of kind of learning where you needed to go and how to get there which was kind of a a new thing for me since every game I've ever played had some type of in-game map that you could just click on and see where you're at and you need to go there and follow the X and the Y and ya 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 but not this one but I actually kind of like having to learn my way around it was kind of cool unique different I mean he wants to have their hand held all the time right where's the fun in that all right we're going to skirt around this uh, bandit here we don't like to be called into any uh, encounters right now and Boy, they're just all over this road today, aren't they? Look at that. Another one up ahead. Let's see. We're going to go out this way. And a bandit to the left there. They're just taking over these bandits. So up ahead here, we're going to have a T. And we're going to go right at the T. And why am I not surprised? There's a bandit up ahead. <laughs> uh, but we're going right, so we don't have to worry about that bandit. Yeah, 
And right up ahead is the Vertas. City of Vertas. <coughs> All right, let's go in here. <coughs> Excuse me. As soon as this thing loads in and we don't need that map in here what I am going to do though real quick much better all right so we need to find these elves and they're in here in a city a town a village a cluster of buildings something like that so <laughs> Somewhere in here we will find these elves. One elf in particular. And to our right we have a player owned town. Or a player owned uh, house. And to our left we have another player owned house. <laughs> Alright, I bet you they're up here behind the walls. So let's go up here. Oh, look at that deer. Anybody want some venison? He is running. He is running. Get him. Get him. And he's dead. <laughs> Alright, sidetracked. Squirrel. <laughs> All right, so over there is this is Vertaz, the Elvis Elves area, and let's speak to this guy. Ev Avatar, I ask that we speak. Well, ask away. Let's speak. You are a visitor to Vertaz. I ask that you respect our ways while you are here. If you are in Avatar, I have specific instructions for you. Well, what if I'm not an Avatar? If you are an Avatar, uh, you should seek out Karad. Karad, our chieftain, he has asked to speak with your kind. My kind? Yes, the human kind. <laughs> he is in the house atop the tallest hill. The house atop the tallest hill. Karad. Alright. I don't see any other uh, conversation paths of interest here. Path of Truth, something there. Vertaz. Vertaz is our home. I, de I defended against enemies of our people. Who are your enemies, pray tell? Many wish to cause us harm. Some of those who wish to cause us harm are humans. Really? And your people? Your people call our people elves. It is a name we use as well. We seek to find truth. What truth do you seek to find? Truth is very important to us. One of our first lore speakers taught us to seek facts from truth. We attempt to do so. Our truth is found. Facts can be learned. If truth is not found, there can be no assurance of facts. Hmm. That makes sense. Alright. Goodbye. We're going to continue on. Goodbye. Alright. We're going in. Cover me. We're going in. <laughs> all right tallest hill tallest building or tallest hill so that would be to the left wab it wab it stew now oh, we've already killed a deer we're a uh, belly's full with venison and here we are, tallest building, or tallest hill. Karad, Karad, Kuryad was the guy. There he is. Hail, Mistress Shertugal. Welcome again to Fertas. 
Um, side note here, this is about my third time going through Vertas because I keep recording it and just watching it later and discovering there's little uh, flaws in my recording. So hopefully this time around will be good to go in golden. So yes, I've already spoken to her, this person so they know who I am. So let's continue on from there. Hail, Kiriad. Okay, we're here looking for bone steel. Let's see if you know anything about bone steel. What an interesting artifact. Tell me, what do you think is its origin? Whom do you think created it? Well, sir, I was told it was created by the obsidian sore obsidians. Let's call them sore obsidians. Interesting. Indeed, you may be correct. I would ask you to speak with my advisors, Benar, Sinar, and Quant. <coughs> they may have further insight into this. Okay. And where can I find these uh, advisors of yours? Benar is an advisor who specializes in matters of ancient history. He can be found in his home downhill from mine along the town wall. So downhill from your home along the town wall. Okay, and Sinar? Sinar is an advisor of mine who studies the phenomenon of outlanders, avatars such as yourself. He would be very interested in meeting you. I think he can be, I think, he can be found in the second home below mine. Okay, and this Quant fella? Quant is an advisor of mine who studies trade and craftsmanship. He can almost always be found studying the trading wagons on the other side of town. Okay. Well, we are here for another pre-purpose. Let's see if he can answer that question for me. Uh, let's see. Elves, facts, leaders, our people, truth. Uh, there you go. Kiakis, that's who we're here to speak. Tell me, do you know who this feel of Kiakis can be found? Kiakis... Kiakis is not an advisor of mine, but Quant often relies on his assistance and knowledge of humans. Quant can probably tell you where Kiakis is presently. Okay, so we need to go talk to Quant. Hmm. Alright, we're going to go talk to Quant. Quant it is. Boy, see all those books? I'm actually building a library back in my uh, place. Although I have to build the bookshelves first. And then I'm going to buy, steal all the books I can find and stock those bookshelves. And I'm going to come back here and steal me some books. I'll be coming back for your books, sir. <laughs> Alright. Bonafide Quant. And he said, uh, Benar is right up here. There he is, Benar. And I want to say, uh, Sinar is right over here. Hmm, right over here. In here? Uh, not in here. Next house over, I think. Yep, there's Sonar. So if you want to know where Sonar and Benar are, there they are. I am going to go talk to Quant, though, because we're on a mission here. We have this bone steel dagger we need to track down its origins. And Quant, it has a piece of the puzzle. Or he knows where a piece of the puzzle can be found. And there he is, Sir Quant. Greetings again, Outlander. Greetings, Quant. Can you tell me about this bone steel here? Well, that certainly is not a model of dagger I have seen in my trading. I'd recommend asking Kiakis about that. He is an associate of mine who also has some experience with your kind. Kiakis, huh? Where can I find this Kiakis? I'm not sure where Kiakis is currently, but he's just arrived in town from Solace Bridge. Okay, so we need to track him down. He's somewhere in town. We need to go find him. On a side note here, I've spoken to him once before too, and there, when you first talk to him, 
there's a trade, uh, there's a uh, conversation path where it says human. And if you click on human, he talks about how he struggles to connect with my kind, yada, yada, yada. And then he gives us two uh, emotes. So if you uh, are here for the first time and you want to pick up some emotes, uh, talk to him and uh, select that human uh, conversation line and he will give you two emotes. And let me show what those are. Let's see, my emotes. So one is called, they're both miming emotes and one is to mime a rope. There's my rope. And the other one is to my a wall. <laughs> kind of cool, huh? Try this again. Her exp facial expressions. <laughs> She's like, oh, well, I can't get out. <laughs> All right, so we need to go track down this guy, Kiakis. Hmm. And these guys are not them. Come on. Around the way. Not you. Not you. Hmm. Sorry, couldn't be risked, couldn't be helped. Had to take out the dog. <laughs> All right, onward. Uh, I want to say he's the one. Yep, there he is. It is good to confirm you are still well. Name. Name. It is good to confirm you are still well, name. Are you asking my name or are you tell, telling me your name? I am Kiakis, an elf of Vertaz and a seeker of truth. Hello, elf of Kiak Vertaz and a seeker of truth. Do you know about bone steel daggers? Interesting that dagger you hold matches the one I found in the Fawn Caravan. Perhaps this book may be of more use to you than I. You may have it. Perhaps it will point you to the source of bone steel. As to where to begin your search, I have often seen fawns that work for their satyrs overlords stop in the village of Jennifard, to the south and east of here. Perhaps one of them may have, have some guidance. Some source of this. So they want us to go to Jenniford, to the south and east of here. Okay, tell me about the source of this bone steel. Tracking down the source of bone steel has been quite a mystery. It has not been used in forges in many an age, I am told. Perhaps the forges of artifice were where it originated from. A Vertas elf named Notus traveled to artifice to uncover this mystery, but has never returned. Ooh. I wonder if we should be going to Artifice here soon. I know little of the place. We sent Nortis there to research it if bone steel weaponry was being issued from its forges, but it is very far. And this book you gave me? I found it on a fawn caravan that had been abandoned and wrecked in an attack, along with some rare bone steel weapons that were ignored by the attackers. It is a puzzle to me. What's a puzzle to me is if there were such rare weapons, why they were ignored by the attacker. Interesting. Let's ask him about his elves. 
Yes, I am an elf of the village of Vertas. I am aware that, especially in this part of Novia, there has been much fighting between the Dark Elves and your people. Rest assured that I mean you no harm. I would hope you mean me no harm as well. I am often unfamiliar with human customs. Things such as singing and shaking hands. Shaking hands I find very confusing. You grasp the weapon arm of your <laughs> counterpart firmly so that he is helpless. If your companions choose to attack, yet this is seen as a peaceful act. I believe it is derived from your trust in one's intentions, but that trust is often abused. I still have a great deal to learn, I am afraid. <laughs> yeah, I I'm pretty sure that's actually where the handshaking thing originated from. Singing. Apparently humans find varying the tone of speech and voice pleasant. As an elf, I find it confusing. It has meaning within that I do not understand. Many elves have been misunderstood by humans as well. So I try to learn as much of this as I can to learn how to avoid conflict between our people. And I asked him about misunderstood by humans, so what he meant by that. He says, for example, it is customary among elves of different villages when meeting to present their weapons so they can be easily seen by the other group, so that both are aware of the intentions and capabilities of each other and can make correct decisions based upon knowledge. However, humans see this as a signal of hostile intent. It has caused many battles between our kind. Those of us that live near humans learn human customs. <laughs> yeah, I can see a dark elves, huh? One more uh, conversation path here. These are those these are those of our people who maintain their loyalty to those who wish the world ill. I do not wish to speak of this further. It is not a subject my people are comfortable discussing with outlanders or outsiders. Okay, good to go. So we are going to Jennifer. Goodbye. So that is where we're going next. So let's leave this place <clears throat> avatar he says we have much to learn from you that's the vertas guardian What's he saying? Bring that last crate over here by the others. So and so. Oh, kitty, let's kill the cat. You're, um, oh, you can talk to the cat? Huh. <laughs> Does the talk, tack, cat talk back? Let's try to take out the cat. Like I did the dog. What? You can't kill the cat. What the hell? You can kill the dog, but not the cat? What sick, toasted individual came up with that concept? <laughs> oh, come on. Look, you can even kill the rabbits, but not the cat. What the hell? Die. Demon spawn. <laughs> oh, well. I guess the demon spawn is safe for now. <laughs> That's probably why they're immortal, is their demon spawns of Satan, those kitties. Alright, where do we have to go? We need to go to Jennifer. That is a cool place up on the right there. Alright, so I'm going to call that the end of this video. So we just did a quick little run through of Vertas and learned that we needed to go to Jennifer. And uh, 
the elf we came to talk to gave us a book, talked about some bone steel weapons he had found, and said we need to go to Jennifer. So that is where we're going to go. And I think this is somewhere around 25 or 20 minutes or so. So I'm trying not to let these videos get too long. So we're going to start up the next one and uh, start up outside of this town and go from there. So this has been Shroud of the Avatar, Spiritual Successor to Ultima Online. I am Drist. And once again, a friendly reminder, don't forget to subscribe. There is a subscribe button bottom right of the screen. So if you have not already done so, feel free to click on that. I greatly appreciate it. There are also some affiliate links in the description. Feel free to check those out. One of them is to Marky Dragon Game Codes. He is an authorized reseller of this game, and he is where I go to all. Uh, he is where I go to to have all my Shroud of the Avatar and my Eve Online needs met. So go ahead and click on those links, check those out, and until next time, have a great day.